this is a really quick one. I don't have time to make um, full feature videos at the moment. Falling behind on things. Probably won't be seeing much on that. I'll test the transmission and see. If not, I have a spare trans that I had sold, but I'm not shipping it until I know for sure. This was the first time in a long time that I had that kind of bad luck with a mower. I guess it was a bad omen that the bag fell out of the um, back. But the lesson here is always pull the cord on a piece of power equipment before you, especially if you're going to buy it. Always pull the cord. I don't care if it's a mower, generator, mini bike, rototiller, any kind of piece of power equipment. If it has a cord, you pull it, make sure that engine is not seized first. I got fooled on this one. One, because of how new it is, and two, because the air box was off. So I assumed that it was just going to be bad gas in the carburetor, a carb cleaner, a new carb, whatever. You know, like a one day deal. That engine was seized. And that engine's crap because I broke it free very easily by grabbing a blade. I've had the old flatheads seized good. And I put, you know, PB Blaster or Mar Marvel Mystery Oil down the this, down this spark plug hole, down the cylinder, and let it soak for a couple hours or a day. And I would get them to break free. And once those engines got running again, they were fine. These new ones are such crap that um, even with that just being minorly seized, it, it was no good. But the cylinder was all scored up. I didn't show it on video. I did show photos and a small short video on Instagram. Um, but the cylinder was all scored up. The rings had to have been, you know, froze up, stuck. The piston rings. Oil, too much, way too much oil was getting passed. And that's what was causing the blow by, most likely the hard starting. So my primer to auto choke carb was successful. You can do that. You can do it on the older engines too. But anyway, I pulled that motor. Okay, a good old quantum's going on right now. It wasn't 100% ready. I had taken a few pieces off of it to use on another one at the last in the past um, so the carburetor for this one needed a cleaning but it wasn't horrible see this is a good carburetor and jets just have to be cleaned out a little bit and then it needed a few pieces that I got off other ones luckily this was the only auto choke version I had left off a mower I've got about 10 of the primer versions laying around. See the primer bowl versions? This is the auto choke version where you just pull and it goes because it has a thermostat on the muffler that warms up and opens that linkage which opens the carburetor. That's how these modern ones work. The primer version stopped probably around 07, 08 was the last of the primer versions and they went on to auto choke. So that's what I'm doing right now. Quick tune up on this motor. It's going on. It's getting washed and it's ready to go. It's going to be a much better mower now. With this engine, far better. Uh, one thing to note, when they have lines on the back like this, that means it was made in China. When they're perfectly flat, it's an American one. But irregardless, even if this motor being a Chinese made one is still good. Because they made these engines since 1986, starting in the USA. And then right around 2011, I don't know, somewhere around then, they started making them in China. And then 100% made in China starting in 2012. But this one's going on. I already touched up the block. See, the one thing I don't like, it has the DOM stamped on it. The older ones don't. I might put a different cover on that doesn't say that. One that doesn't have the stamp. So, other than that, um, yeah, you're, you know, you're always looking over to get a home run. That's the goal. 
faster it moves out the better it's the first time in a long time I had one where you know it wasn't done in a day but the guy was a butcher I th this thing is really weird because this blade is the original blade it's still almost brand new the edge on it is still the it's still perfectly sharp so he must have from the very get-go not put enough oil or any oil in the engine he seized it from the very start okay because even though those engines are crap you don't get a scored cylinder without low oil so he probably messed up from the very beginning then he tried to fix his mistake he was unsuccessful and then I don't know why the air filter box was off yeah it did have bad gas in it but it was already had other major problems that had happened first so this thing has very little use on it it's like a brand new mower but once it has that engine on it it's going to be a way better mower I used to get these mowers with this engine on it all the time and I never had a problem they were so easy to get going those newer engines they're crap but he was a butcher he tried to play play a mechanic so now I'm skeptical about this what he did with this because even the battery that came with this he over tightened it and broke one of the leads off you know luckily there's still enough of it left where I can take two fat washers and you know smash squish the thing on there so it's on but you know this guy he tried very unsuccessfully and caused more problems than good but the, again the fact that this thing was only three and a half years old when this thing's camshaft went bad is very sad I guess I'm gonna have to start getting used to this newer stuff that's having more problems than the older stuff but like I said luckily I had one auto choke version left so it's going on right now after I finish up cleaning the car putting all the pieces back on and she's good to go so that's the story on it you'll see it once it's done later